The cases against him in the U.S. Uh, were filed before I became president. So uh, I guess he's very worried. So, uh, no. Well, my, I would I would just uh, advise him uh, that just kung meron naman siyang sasabihin, we, if he, he has an opportunity in the hearings both in the House and in the Senate to, show, to, to say his side of the story. Ngayon, kung sinasabi niya, hindi totoo lahat yan, hindi totoo, walang nangyaring ganyan, di sabihin niya. Eh, pagka ganito, anong mangyayari dyan? Hindi siya sisipot. Pag hindi siya sumir, mapapakontempt siya. O, tapos, tuloy-tuloy, ay nako, eh, mas malaki yung gulo. Kung makapunta siya, sagutin niya lahat ng tanong, di tapos na. Uh, that's why my advice for him is to just uh, uh, just uh, face the uh, the the uh, questioning in the House and in the Senate. Uh, marinig natin ang kanyang, ang kanyang side uh, para malaman natin kung ano ba talagang nangyayari dito. That we... we that we, we were trying to be fair here in uh, allowing him a, 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 an opportunity and a, and, a, and fora to uh, make his case. So I think he should take advantage of it. So what's your take on this? <laughs> Walang may gusto mag-assassinate sa kanya. <laughs> Bakit siya assassinate? Wala namang ano yun. Huh? What, 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 I mean, you know, why will anyone want to do that? Uh, I, uh, maybe he's just very, very, uh, wala na. I, I, I just, hindi ko naintindihan yung sinasabi niya. Uh, Bakit siya i-assassinate? Bakit siya i-assassinate? Hindi naman siguro. Pero eh, eh, hindi ko alam. Uh, siguro natatakot siya dahil uh, sa mga uh, mga pangyayari. But I, again, uh, the best way to defuse that situation for him is okay. to, to, to testify before the, the committees in the House and in the Senate.